I'm Carla Wade. Right now on your 13 Action News update, Homemade Southern Nevada is celebrating its first graduating class of a workforce program that benefits homeless youth. Homemade Works is a development program and it offers those dealing with homelessness the chance to pursue careers in the home building industry. The four week entry level construction class on framing teaches basic carpentry. In class, we actually taught them, you know, you learned about it online, but now let's use a skill saw, let's use a drill gun, let's use a nail gun and saws. So we actually had practice, you know, practice projects where they built walls, where they um, nailed, you know, nailed boards together, screw boards together, just a lot of different things. And also how to read plans. So we did a little course on plan reading. Program participants are also OSHA accredited so that they can immediately be hired after graduation. UNLV kicked off homecoming festivities this morning with the unveiling of University Center Drive. It was formerly known as Swenson Street. Alumni and students led the effort to rename the road to give it a more collegiate feel. And Nevada's unclaimed property auction is now open. More than 4,400 individual property items are all up for grabs, including fine jewelry, costume jewelry, coins, stamps, and a lot more. All of these auction items are available for viewing and bidding online. That auction runs through Monday, November 18th. High temperatures are going to hold well above the seasonal average in the mid 70s for the majority of the work week, but the change day to day this week comes in cloud cover. As we head into your Tuesday evening, we do expect a few clouds to be in the mix, and as you wake up for your Wednesday morning, expect mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Those partly cloudy skies do turn mostly cloudy as we work our way toward Thursday, but temperatures again should hold on the warm side in the mid 70s. Thanks, Danny. That was your 13 Action News update. You can always get the latest news at KTNB.com. Thank you for making 13 Action News part of your day.